I've done a few things the last couple of years. Bar work, managed a few gyms, even did a stint of butler and a buff. But these days... You're a motorbike courier. You deliver parcels and letters and stuff. For now. So what, you working your way up to pizza? This is the day job on the weekends. I take off the panniers, go racing. Oh, do you know what? They do that around here sometimes. Bleeding maniacs. No, I do it on tracks. My dream's a TT. What? Have you done Mad Sunday yet? Last year. Mad Sunday? Yeah, it's a mountain section of the TT. Are you a biker too? Uh, wait, hold on. Are you talking some kind of code language here? No, my uh, my ex was. She really just likes the leathers and the grease. She's so classy, Ronnie, aren't you? Yeah, well, you know what they say. Some people like a bike, some people are one. Well, we've got a meet next week if you want to come along. We use a circuit down the Isle of Dogs. They like proper bikes, do they? Not just hair dryers. Bite and talk. <laughs> oh, God, I thought it was just blokes that compared their equipment. Who's here? First things first, and I'm sorry, Danny, but I think I already know the answer to this. But this one here, well, she's been telling so many stories, it's been like Jack and Oi around here. Fantasy Island, more like. I'll handle this. I take it this young man is who he says he is, your son. Our brother. Who do you think he is, the sugar plum fairy? Tell him, Mum. I thought you were just going to the funeral. What'd you come here for? Mum. This lot of nothing to do with you, not really. You made sure of that, haven't you? Danny. Of course he's my son. Just don't get this. I could understand it if Archie was alive. But he's been dead for weeks now. He can't do nothing to you or Danny. So why have you waited until now? I always knew she was totally screwed up about it. If I ever tried talking about Dad, she'd just yell at me as if it had been my fault or something. I even thought maybe it had been. Maybe something had happened that she was keeping from me. I never thought it'd be something like this. I, I can't handle this. Danny! But maybe I should go. No! Run! I thought I could just come over. I thought we could have a chat. I thought it might even be a bit of a laugh. We don't even know each other, not really. So what's it really matter? You're staying. Please. Come here. It's all right. So what do we do now? <laughs> I don't know. I do. We'd best be getting back. Where are you going, so I thought you'd done a flip. I'm not coming back. Then he's staying with us for a few days. Oh, no, he's not. Because? Because I said so. You've done a lot of that over the years, haven't you? Saying things, telling me this, telling me that. Well, I think it's about time I find out a few things for myself. Peggy. Well, it's Roxy's pup and that son of yours, he's a grown man. I don't want you staying here with them. Why not? Why do you think I spend so much time keeping you away from your father? He's not here anymore. Still got his claws in them, though. What? He's still in there, inside their heads. Excuse me, what is that supposed to mean? Now, listen, calm down. I said, what did you mean? You sure about this? Well, you still don't believe he is who he says he is. Well, he is who he says he is, all right? That's what's bothering me. What do you mean? Well, we've only just buried the old man, haven't we? Last thing we need is some younger version of Archie walking through the door. <laughs> 